Assalamu alaikum dear viewers, Shobhim Adav is here with the new lecture of the power factor S series and today our topic is the power factor improvement with the help of the synchronous condenser and the phase advancer. In the previous video, uh, we have discussed the power factor improvement method through the static capacitor and in this video we are covering the two improvement uh, power factor improvement techniques or the methods uh, through the synchronous condenser and the phase advancer. So uh, recall the power factor, the power factor is the cosine phi angle between the voltage and the current is called the power factor or it is the ratio of the resistance over impedance is called the power factor or it is the ratio of the active power or apparent power is called the power factor. Now, the first uh, improvement technique that we are going to discuss over here is the synchronous condenser. Now synchronous motor when it is running at the no load, when it is running at the no load over excitation, so it takes a leading current from the main supply. So let us discuss, a synchronous motor takes a leading current whenever over excited so therefore it behaves as a synchronous capacitor. So whenever a synchronous motor is running at the no load and condition is over excited, so in this condition, in this uh, phenomena, the it behaves like as in synchronous condenser or synchronous capacitor. So first of all, just I am going to recall the concept of the synchronous machine. Synchronous machine is can be act as in synchronous generator or the synchronous motor. In the case of the synchronous motor over here, it converts the three phase electrical power into the mechanical power or three phase uh, or, or electrical energy into the mechanical energy. A synchronous machine comprises of the two main uh, parts which first is that stator and second one is the rotor. The armature winding of the synchronous machine is placed uh, on the stationary part of the machine which is called as a stator and uh, field winding of the synchronous machine is uh, placed on the rotating part or the rotor of the synchronous motor. Now a stator is energized or armature winding uh, is energized from the main three phase supply and hence the three phase revolving magnetic field is been established and the, ro and the currents are induced so that these three phase revolving magnetic field is rotated at the synchronous speed. Now according to the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction whenever a flux linking with the coil is changes an EMF is induced in the coil and here the rotor of the synchronous motor is also uh, excited through some DC excitation, external DC excitation source to produce the magnetic field uh, and also the rotor is of the synchronous motor is driven through some external prime over which is normally turbo uh, generators or the machines are driven through the steam turbines. So, uh, whenever the rotor is rotated with through some external prime over and rotor is also excited from the DC exciting source. So uh, if the stator is energized from the main three phase supply, so if the stator revolving magnetic field changes its direction from clockwise, so rotor uh, poles is also changes uh, along uh, also changes the direction along with the same in the direction of the stator poles. So there is a magnetic interlocking between takes place between the stator and the rotor poles and hence the synchronous motor is runs at the synchronous speed. Okay. Now let us discuss this power factor improvement method through the synchronous motor. Now an over excited synchronous motor running at no load is called synchronous condenser. So this synchronous motor when it is running at the no load it behaves like as an synchronous capacitor or the synchronous condenser. So it provides the, uh, it takes the leading current from the main source and neutralize or complete partly neutralize or completely neutralize the lagging reactive component of the load and hence the power factor of the three phase load, three phase inductive load will be improved. Now when such machine is connected in parallel with the supply, now this one is a three phase supply and when we are going to connect this three phase machine in parallel with this three phase load or across this three phase supply it takes the leading current and partly neutralizing the lagging reactive component of the load and hence the power factor of the three phase load is been removed. Now 
Here, this is the phasor diagram of the three phase uh, synchronous condenser or three phase synchronous motor running over no load behaves like an in synchronous capacitor or the condenser over here. Now, figure shows one, this figure one shows the synchronous motor is connected along with this three phase supply to improve the power factor of this three phase load ok as you can see. Now, this motor three phase uh, uh, load uh, is can uh, load takes the current I L at the low, low lagging power factor which is the fire. So, takes, uh, let us see the phasor diagram of the three phase synchronous condenser over here which improves the power factor of the three phase uh, load. So, here this voltage ok that uh, is leads the current at the some angle of the phi L over here is the angle of the phi L, phi L over here. So, consider synchronous condenser ok takes a I m which leads the voltage by angle of the phi L. Here this current which is to be takes by the synchronous condenser or the uh, over excited synchronous motor at no load. Now, this I m current is leads this voltage and this I l current ok this is the lagging reactive component of the current whenever the load is to be operated. So, from the main supply it takes the lagging reactive component and this current I l is legs behind this voltage at the angle of the phi l. Now, so this is the I is the resultant sum of this I m and plus I l. So, I m is the leading current which takes from the takes the synchronous motor from the main three phase supply ok and this is the I l current which is the lagging reactive component of the current ok whenever the load is to be draw from the main supply which is the low lagging reactive component of the current. Now, resultant current I is the sum of this I m plus I l over here. Now, you can see what is the power factor is this is the angle between this voltage and the current. So, before connecting the synchronous capacitor or the condenser over here the current is legs behind this voltage at the angle of the phi L. So, this angle is greater phi L angle is greater ok. Now, the if what is the power factor is this is the cosine phi. Now, this is the cosine phi L. Now, whenever the synchronous condenser is connected in parallel at the point of common coupling. So, it takes the leading current from the main supply. So, uh, at the angle of the phi m and this is the resultant current uh, which has the angle of the phi. So, now as you can see this cosine phi angle between this resultant current and the voltage is improved in comparison to that the angle of the phi L between this I L and the V. So, it is clear that phi is less than the phi L. So, that cosine phi is greater than the cosine phi L. So, here the voltage between this uh, so, so sorry the angle between this uh, phi angle uh, is in between this voltage and the resultant current is less in comparison to that of the cosine phi L between this resultant current uh, between this uh, uh, lagging reactive component of the load current and this voltage. So, uh, whenever power factor is improved whenever the cosine phi angle between the voltage and current is reduced if the phase angle between the voltage and current is reduced and hence the power factor of the system or power factor of the three phase load will be improved. Okay. Now, condensers are also used at the bulk supply substation for the power factor improvement. Okay. Now, over excitation of the synchronous motor uh, is that whenever the E B field excitation is greater than the voltage. So, due to this effect the arm uh, armature current of the stator winding okay, is greater than it armature current leads the voltage at the angle of the phi and this is the over excitation condition. Uh, of the synchronous motor whenever the it is operated at the no load. So, the armature current it leads the terminal voltage and hence the uh, at the no load and hence the power uh, 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 the condition uh, which is to be occur uh, during this operation is the over excitation condition of the synchronous motor. 
Now advantages is that by varying the field excitation, the magnitude of the current drawn by the motor is can be changed. It is very easy by changing the field excitation, the magnitude of the current of the motor which is to be drawn by the motor is to be changed, we can vary. Second is that motor winding have the high thermal stability and to withstand the short circuit current, okay. The short circuit, uh, okay, uh, whenever the short circuit is occur, the, the motor has the high thermal stability to withstand the amount of the short circuit current. So, this is an also another advantage of the uh, synchronous condenser and the faults can be easily removed, okay. So, these are the advantages of the synchronous condenser and this disadvantages are there are the considerable losses in the motor, the maintenance cost is very high, okay. And the it produces noise obviously this is the rotating machine and when it is operated obviously the noise, noise is produced and above the 500 kVA, the 500 kVA rating the cost is greater uh, in comparison to that of the static capacitor. Above the 500 kVA the cost of the synchronous uh, uh, condenser is greater than that of the say, static capacitor of the same rating, okay. Synchronous motor has no self starting torque therefore an auxiliary equipment is used to be provided for this purpose. Obviously this uh, uh, the rotor of the synchronous motor is rotated some external source okay and uh, we, we, are, uh, we are using an auxiliary equipment to provide it for this purpose to make it self starting. Number second is that the phase advancers. Now, phase advancers are used for the power factor improvement of the three phase induction motor. The three phase induction motor has the two types of the rotors, a squirrel cage or the wound rotor induction motor. Now, phase advancers are used to improve the power factor of the induction motors. The low power factor of the induction motor is due to the fact is that it is uh, Excite, uh, stator winding draws the exciting current which lags behind the voltage at the angle of the 90 degree. So, whenever uh, the, uh, every induction motor has the two parts, the stator and the rotor, the stator is energized from the main supply. If there is a three phase induction motor, the stator of the three phase induction motor is energized from the main three phase supply and the three phase rotating currents are induced. Three phase revolving magnetic field is produced in the stator coils in the stator winding of the three phase induction motor which runs at the synchronous speed. And that current which is drawn by the induction motor, uh, the stator coils is uh, legs behind the voltage at the angle of the 90 degree. Now, if exciting ampere turns can be provided by an other XC source. Now, if the now in the case of the wound rotor induction motor, if the slip rings of the three phase wound rotor induction motor is connected some external XC exciter, if we are uh, supplying the exciting amperes, exciting more amp uh, exciting ampere turns to the wound rotor induction motor. So, what happened? The stator winding will be relieved of the exciting current and the power factor of the motor can be improved. So, this, this job is accomplished by the phase advancer which is simply an AC exciter. Now, the phase advancer is the simply an AC exciter which is mounted on the same shaft of the induction motor. For example, here this is the three phase induction motor and here these are the like slip rings, slip rings and this. Now, here an XC exciter is mounted on the same shaft of the this three phase induction machine, three phase induction motor. Now, the job of this XC exciter is to providing the more exciting amperes, okay, to this at the slip frequency, to this to the slip rings of the three phase wound rotor induction motor. So, what happened if the it provides the exciting ampere turns into the rotor circuit the slip frequency. So, by providing more ampere turns it is required the induction motor can be made to operate on the leading power factor. So, like an over excited synchronous motor. So, whenever this XC exciter provides the more ampere turns to the this three phase induction motor at the slip frequency. Now, now what happened? it can be made operate 
it is a, a synchronous an over excited synchronous motor and operate on the leading power factor. So, what are the advantages of the, these uh, phase advances and exci as exciting amperes are supplied at the slip frequency then lagging reactive power drawn by motor is considerably reduced. So, whenever we are going to uh, provide the more exciting ampere trends to this uh, uh, three phase one rotor induction motor. So, the advantage of the phase advancer or uh, by connecting the AC exciter is that the motor takes the low lagging reactive component from the main supply uh, and hence the power factor of the three phase induction motor is can be improved with the help of the AC exciter or the phase advancer which are mounted on the same shaft of the three phase wound rotor induction motor by providing the more exciting amperes to the wound rotor induction motor at the slip frequency. So, it can be uh, made to operate on the leading power factor like an over excited synchronous motor. The disadvantage of the phase advancer is that uh, they are not economical for the motors below 20 horsepower. So, they are not economical. These XESI exciters or the phase advancers are not uh, economical for the motors which are to be the below 20 200 horsepower. So, this was the lecture regarding the synchronous condenser power, uh, power factor improvement through synchronous condenser and the phase advancers. These are also the techniques to improve the power factor. Okay. So, we have discussed the synchronous condenser. So, if I am going to summarize the today's lecture is that synchronous condenser is an over excited synchronous motor running at no load. It takes the leading uh, reactive component of the current to neutralize or completely or partly neutralize the ragging reactive component of the three phase uh, low inductive load and hence the power factor of the induction uh, inductive load is going to be improved. So, uh, the condition is that this uh, uh, synchronous condenser is can be defined as the over excited three uh, synchronous motor is running at the no load. And second is that the phase advancers phase advances are the AC exciters that are mounted on the same shaft of the three phase uh, wound rotor induction motors to provide the more exciting amperes to improve the power factor of the three phase induction motors. And also we have discussed the phasor diagram of the uh, synchronous condenser. So, that uh, this I is the resultant current which is the uh, sum of the I m current and the I l current and this phi is the result is the angle of this resultant current and the voltage. So, this is going to be the less angle in comparison to this phi l. So, hence if the angle between the voltage and the current is less obviously, this cosine phi is the improved power factor in comparison to this this cosine phi l. So, this was the whole lecture regarding the synchronous condenser and the phase advancer. I hope that you have enjoyed the today's later uh, lecture and at the last please subscribe my YouTube channel Shwebe Madayo for more informative videos related to the electrical engineering area. Thank you.